at the movie premiere of Dear Frank, checking in live with Fire Media. What's up everyone? I am here with Bella Soul, one of the actors in the movie Dear Frank. How are you doing tonight? I'm alright. What are you doing? Tell us a little bit about your character in your friend. Well, I play the gardener. I play the gardener. And, um, oh, this is an entertaining film. It's a commentary film. It's a drama. That's all I want to give you. Because if I tell too much, you'll be annoyed at all. But I play this. You're going to be laughing. Laughing your butt off. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So, what, what was it about this role that you made? Um, um, because, because I can be serious, but at the same time, entertain. This, this was a big role. One of my first big major roles. I'm also in a movie with America, uh, Cat Williams, American Bad Boy. But this movie here, White, I'm all well rounded. Com comedic, I mean, com I'm comical, and it's also a good thriller. And it's all around, a good round of all around movies. Okay, thank you so much, and congratulations on everything. Okay, thank you. What's up, everyone? I am here live with Kiara Stroder for the movie Dear Frank. So, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Very good. You look pretty to me. You look good. Just a great my love. Thank you. So, tell us a little bit about your character in Dear Frank and if you are able to actually relate to this character in your personal life. That's a good question. So, my character is Carrie. I play Columbus's girlfriend. Um, I can relate to her in a soft way because she's very supportive of her boyfriend. If Columbus' character, he plays is Brian's brother and he's the police officer of the city so it's like he's trying to help his brother solve this mystery of why his wife is no longer with us and of course I'm super supportive and trying to understand and adapt with him because he's my boyfriend you know I want to be there for him um, but then it's like a wild crazy ride that this movie takes you on so you'll be able to see like the grand reveal and twist and turns from different characters and you'll start to try to figure out so who did it you know, did Claudia, well, yeah, Claudia's carrier, did she kill herself, did Brian kill her, did Columbus kill her, you know, like, you're just trying to figure it all out, which is amazing, I have to say, because it takes you on that road coaster. I always love films like that. Yes, I love it. Yeah, that makes me want to, like, try to figure it out, like, oh, no, nah, I think I have it. And then when you get to the end, it's like, oh, thank God, me, I didn't, oh, I just knew I knew who it was going to be, you know, so I love films like that, because that's, even watching, for me, I'm always always playing that game and I'm always trying to see what character gives it away right off the bat for me. So yeah, it's, it's one of them. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So if you could give advice to young black women who want to be other women actresses, what would it be? give up, go for it, period. Like, I started, crazy enough that we're back here in Atlanta, I started my career here in Atlanta. I was a professional dancer, and then from that, my agent said, you know, I think you should be an actor, and I said, no. Like, I don't know nothing about it, I never studied it. Why would you think that? He sent me to my first audition, and I booked it. And it was like, okay, maybe I can do it, you know? And then I started to fall in love with it, because I started to notice that acting for me became so therapeutic, because at home, I used to hold so many things in and as a dancer my emotions was my body like that was my way of getting out of it so definitely I would say keep going for it um, don't allow anyone to stop you and go to the the city that is going to fulfill the, the dream that you right because now I live in LA I booked the lead road in a uh, lead road here in Atlanta and I had to move to LA to continue those right thank you so much and congratulations thank you. Thank you. Uh, I am here at the premiere of Dear Fank with Claudia Jordan, how are you? I am fantastic. I'm no sleep though. I've been up since 3.30 in the morning. I cannot tell you. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. 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 Put a lot of makeup on my face. A lot of makeup. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a little bit of insight on your character in Right Dear Frank. Character and my character are married, and we like seem like the perfect couple from the outside, like many couples do. But what's really going on behind closed doors is really not perfect. Um, he doesn't really find out who exactly he's married to until he finds my journal, my diary after I'm killed. So then the movie becomes like, who did what to who? And at the end, I want you to challenge yourself to try to figure out who was actually the bad guy in this film. I think it should make you look at, you know what, when someone hurts you, you think that person just hurt you, but who hurt them to make them the way they are? Right. It's a reason for a lot of this, so. Absolutely. Sounds good. So, my class, you've been in the industry for a long time. What advice do you have for us for coming actually? Uh, to always have something else going on so you're not desperate. There were a lot of roles that I could have 
paid money that maybe I'm not going to the right project and just wait for the one that you feel. You know, I got a lot of like things that I should do and I like this role a lot. Now, it is less sex in this movie, but it's a, it's a good story. It's not just like, I don't know. It all makes sense. You know, watch it. You come in. Okay. But, um, yeah, I feel like you should always have a plan B because I see people in Hollywood that, you know, they got desperate and they kind of did things they regret them later on. You know what I mean? Whether it's roles or hooking up with people. I mean, I never get too far. So, have a plan B. And when you have a plan B, you kind of have to have a little bit more confidence where you don't come off like, I'll do anything to make it. There are people out there doing anything to make it. Thank you so much. What's up, everyone? I am here with the beautiful and talented Tori Hart. How Hello. Are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? Good, good, good. So, we're here at the movie premiere of Dear Frank. So, tell us a little bit about your character in this movie. Wow, okay, so my character, I actually just play myself. For real, for real, um, you know, there, of course, there's a little embellishment with the truth. But my character helps Brian, like, over his eyes. You know, he has a, a very pivotal point in the film where he's, like, losing himself. And so I help him, like, realize, like, everything that he has going on. It's like, bro, wake up. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not your life. So I help him understand everything that's going on. And when he snaps out of the trance that he was in, he goes on. Other things that happen in the film. You gotta see the film and go out to support it to see exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Yeah. So being a mom, and I know that you're really, really busy. Yeah. With your career and everything. So how are you juggling uh, career and you know your kids, family, and all that? Give some advice for the moms out there. Okay, it's not easy. I'll be the first to admit it's not easy, especially when you're an independent artist. But it's so worth it. Uh, and I also will say that I have an amazing support system. With me and Kevin, we co-parent very well. Uh, that's the one thing that we do excellent, so we very well co-parent. I have a tribe of women and men that help me out. Um, my boyfriend helps me out when it comes to, like, if I need him to do something with the children. And, you know, it's just when you want something, you make it work. And also, the creation definitely makes it happen like as far as scheduling it always seems to line up when you're on the right path and you're on your course everything always will line up as long as you're doing it right so work hard and make it happen if that's what you really want absolutely yeah. thank you so much and congratulations thank you what's up everyone we are here live at the premiere screening of front of dear frank the leading actor and director brian white how are you doing it's a dark comedic thriller. Uh, it's about a couple that's been married for 20 years and they decide to renew their vows at the home that everybody loves them. And then they do into the white crop today. Uh, my brother, played by Columbus Short, is a town detective. He lets me know uh, shortly thereafter that she was poisoned. She didn't die of natural causes. I'm grieving. He suggests that I clean out the house and try to you know, get myself together and move on. And I find her secret diary that outlines all of her infidelities. She cheated on him through their 20 year marriage. So, everybody that was at the uh, wedding reception becomes a murder suspect and becomes a gay. Make sure they do. So, do you have any other projects coming up? I do. Uh, my series, Monogamy, comes back in November. My series, Ambitions, comes back in November. And I start showing up. Thank you so much. Congratulations.